Hi everyone, welcome to Lapis Compass. Thank you so much for being here. Today we are doing a reading for Gemini for the first half of February. We're going to use different decks and pull several messages. Let's see what's happening for you, Gemis. Keep in mind, not every message will resonate with every one of you, but your message can come through all the way in the reading. All right, we are starting with the Soul Journey lesson cards. So let's see what's happening with Gemis. What messages will come out? February. We have balance. Oh, some of you are balancing two jobs. We got that very strongly there. Regret and trust. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and um, clarify a little bit more and see what else is coming through on that balance. Six of Swords. Eight of Wands. Two of Pentacles. And King of Pentacles. Definitely some of you are balancing two sources of incomes, two jobs here. I feel like um, you're getting a little bit, um, I would say even overwhelmed. There is a lot of energies moving towards you. You're going to be really, really, really busy. You are moving um, to the better um, financial situation, towards the better financial situation. I do feel that um, you also, a lot of you are finding a balance between um, money that are going out and money that are coming in. I get that energy for you as well. So um, for some of you, uh, for those of you who've been like balancing between the bills and you know what's to pay first and things like that, I feel like you're coming to the common shores. Uh, things are start moving into your favor, and you are coming to the financial stability. But also, I'm getting the energy of needing to find a balance between two sources of incomes, two jobs. For some of you, this is your uh, job where you are an employee and something that you're doing on the side by yourself, like your own personal business here. Um, I feel like you will be finding that balance in this first half of February. But most importantly, I feel like you're gonna come into better stability financially. You're moving to the common shores in your financial situation here. It is going to be coming uh, fast, but I'm also getting a lot of responsibilities being piled up on you. So be careful and make sure that you find the right balance, that you are not, um, you know, focusing on one thing more than the other. There needs to be a very, very good balance found here. Use your judgment. Use your judgment because I feel like it's not necessarily a 50-50 balance. I feel like one of the jobs or one of the projects here needs more attention than the other. And it's finding that right balance, not necessarily a completely equal balance that is going to be important to you interesting message all right let's go ahead and um, find out what is this regret about what is this regret about for gemini what is it regret energy what is that about come on let me know what is it Right. Let's see what's happening here. Um, I feel like a lot of you have some sort of regrets about the romantic opportunities that you didn't pursue. I also feel like there is a bit of a regret, uh, not necessarily even regret, but sadness about the a lack of romantic opportunities around you. I feel like you've been waiting for a long time for something to happen. Some of you have been waiting for a person for a long time and you're regretting the time you wasted here. That's what I see. I feel like a lot of you know that there is happiness out there for you in the romantic love life and if you don't do know that there is there is a much be better and happy time for you but i feel like you've spent a lot of time manifesting and trying to bring this energy into your life and not necessarily acting in a physical 3d not that manifestation is not important it's extremely important but you need to back it up with taking some risk and jumping into some sort of relationships and also putting yourself out there i feel like um, like i said a lot of you are regretting the time that you've spent stuck on something that wasn't working out and uh, also 
also not acting. And if you are not necessarily acting in 3D and not um, putting yourself out there when it comes to love, I feel that that's something you might also regret in the future. So I feel like it's time to take a leap of faith. It's time for a new relationship. And I do feel that it, it's coming in. It's coming in for you. You got to make sure that uh, you take that opportunity. You see that opportunity and you don't miss it. Because if you do, there might be some regrets here. That's what I see. Don't miss out, Gemini. And remember that this is your card. Magician is your representation in Major Arcana. This is you manifesting your future. And this is you alchemizing your future in romantic love life. That's what I see. Leo, Aries could be significant for you in this particular message. Let's go ahead and clarify this trust. What is that all about? What is that here for? For Gemini, trust. What is this about? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, look at that. Gemini, trust that your dreams in romantic love life will come true. That's what's up, um, what I'm getting here. I feel like um, some of you have been breadcrumbed in a relationship. Some of you had a lot of disappointment in your romantic love life. Some of you have a fear of not ever having that a beautiful relationship that you truly desire and deserve. And you've got to trust. You've got to trust that it is coming in. Trust your inner voice because I feel somewhere deep inside you do believe that it is possible for you. The new love is coming. But you need to truly, truly, fully trust in it because it is coming. I do see a healing of the heart. I do see a healing of a, a heartbreak here. And I do see a beautiful new romantic relationship. And it's time. It's time for that romantic relationship for you. Because like I said, I think you've been in your head for a long time. You've been thinking about the past for a long time. You've been thinking about this energy that breadcrumbed you in some sort of way here. And it's time to move on from that. It's time to heal. It's time to bring your dreams to reality. Bring your dreams to the 3d life and trust in that new romantic love life that is coming your way i see a beautiful romantic relationship here for you and it is going to be a wish fulfillment trust that it's coming all right okay jamie let's go ahead and pull some coffee cup oracle cards for you let's see what else is happening in the first half of february we have Whale, we have bear, and we have groom. Oh, look at that! Let's go ahead and clarify this whale energy. You've been protected by somebody. I do get the energy of being protected by ancestors here. Um, there is a spiritual connection here. There is um, somebody kind of almost watching over you. That's the energy I'm getting as well. Um, two of Wands. Two of Cups. Lovers. And Eight of Swords. Wow, look at this. Two, two, two. There is, a, there is a couple here. There is an energy of divine union, but you are so indecisive here. You are in between. You could definitely be choosing between two different directions when it comes to love. There could be two different people you're choosing between. And the eight of swords, you are stuck, but these are self-imposed restrictions you are putting yourself in this energy um being a um uh, an energy of duality here gemini there's always you always weigh in your options you're always kind of in between there is a little bit of energy of being indecisive here and the lovers is also your representation representation in the major arcana this is your energy this is you putting yourself in the, uh, that energy of self-imposed restrictions and what i feel is that you're coming into some sort of knowledge some sort of guidance here here to make a choice to make a choice to put yourself first and to choose what's right for you i do get spiritual guidance here i do get um intuition heightened intuition for you in the first half of february that will help you to make a choice because there is a choice in love that you're making also lovers is um, a card of divine union but also a choice very strong energy of you choosing between two people here 
try to get out of the self-imposed restrictions know that there is hope here know that there is a right decision here for you and know that you free, uh, you can free yourself from being in between being in this limbo here and you're very much spiritually guided here and protected okay jamie let's go ahead and um clarify that bear what is that here for bear for gemini what is that here for okay we have knight of wands hangman okay the hermit hangman knight of wands and knight of cups these are all very solitude energies. The, the hermit and the hangman is an energy of the solitude. It's the energy of being alone, working on something on your own. I get that as well. You could be wor working on some sort of career, some sort of um, a job, work, project that you work in solitude on. I do feel that it's going to bring you better resources. I do feel that it's going to bring you better financial stability here. But with the Eight of Cups, I also feel this energy of you kind of almost hibernating on your own. There's a lot of energy of solitude here and it's time to move away from that because i feel like um a lot of you are not very happy being alone i feel like you are ready for a connection you're ready for sparks you're uh, you're ready for passion here and this is not talking about your love life not necessarily your resources uh, as in financial resources but i feel like uh, with that bad energy here for you you've been by yourself hibernating not going out staying alone um very kind of this energy of heavy when it comes to heavy to get up and go and do something you know my you might have been invited to certain places and you didn't go being stuck and spending a lot of time on yourself uh, or by yourself i feel like you're moving away from that eight of cups you gotta leave that behind because you're not emotionally fulfilled being alone that's the energy I'm getting here. And there is an energy of somebody sparking your, uh, your attention here, possibly a fire sign, and almost kind of pushing you out of this solitude and um, possibly even going for, uh, you know, a few dates and um, exploring new emotional connection. All right, groom, what is that here for, for Gemini? What is that energy here for, for Gemis? What is that here for? Groom energy. Oh. Give me something on this groom. All right. Quite a few cards here. All right. So what do we what do we have? Four of cups in reverse. <laughs> Uh, you're done being bored in love. You're done with waiting. You're done with just uh, uh, whatever's around you in the past here. And I do feel that uh, there is some fire sign that is coming in into your life here. With five of pentacles, I feel like um, you've been in this energy of lack when it comes to love, when it comes to uh, potential partners, when it comes to partners that were around you. There was this energy of lack where you just didn't see anything that or anyone that you were interested in. And look at this. From that, you go to seven of cups. Choices. Many, 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 many choices here. Many choices in love. You, you are becoming very attractive. I feel like there will be several suitors around you that you will be choosing from. And some will stand out more than others. I feel very strong energy of a fire sign, specifically a Leo, that will stand out, that will definitely spark your attention, that will uh, gain your uh, trust in some way as well. And I do see dating around though i do feel that there is definitely more than one option here you are coming out you're bringing change in your love life from the energy where you were kind of not bored and bored with the option you have around you or lack of those lack of options you're coming into an energy where you are dating around where there are several suitors around you and it does not have to be gender specific at all but i do feel that you will have more than one option to choose from but some will definitely stand out more than others. Look out for somebody, for somebody who um, has a lot of fire in their chart. So this is Leo, this is Aries, this is Sagittarius. Somebody who is very confident, somebody who is quite passionate. I feel that's the kind of person that will stand out to you more than others. 
All right, Jimmy, let's move this out of the way. Let's go ahead and pull some messenger delivery plant and animal oracle cards for you and see what else is happening this first half of February. What's going on for my Jimmies? What's going on? Okay, De deer energy is coming through. Okay. We have deer, we have peacock. Whoa. And we have all interesting. Something is being exposed here. There is some truth is being exposed. Now this could also be a truth about you that you might feel a little bit uncomfortable that it comes out, but I feel in the end it's positive in some way. Yeah, seven of swords, somebody might be exposing something about you, some truth. Uh, they might be doing that with not the best intentions in mind, with some sort of negative intentions, but it's going to allow you to move forward. It's going to actually allow you to free yourself and move forward. Um, seven of swords, like I said, there could be somebody around you that is plotting something, like uh, they might know something about you. They might know your vulnerable uh, spots in some way, and they're trying to expose you, expose it. This could be somebody from your past. This could be somebody you're trying to move away from. This could be even an ex here. Um, an energy of somebody who maybe even know you from your childhood. Somebody you could have trusted quite a bit, but yet eventually you decided to move away because you realize that they are not, they don't have your best um, interest in mind, and they're quite deceiving here. Could have been an, an air sign, another air sign. Could have been a nurse sign doesn't have to be but what i feel is that this truth in some way will set you free <laughs> i know it's a, such a cliche but i do get this energy here yes you're a little bit vulnerable you feel you will feel exposed but the truth is the right way to go and i do feel that in the, in the end is going to help you and it's going to help you to kind of uh, completely break this bo uh, bonds with the person from the past that was deceiving here Okay, let's go ahead and clarify the peacock energy. This is uh, setting the right boundaries, but it's also being seen and being very much in the spotlight. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> um, look at this. This is pretty, pretty incredible. First of all, there is an ending here. There is an ending here. You put your boundaries up with somebody who was uh, uh, keeping you uh, trapped, keeping you in this energy of uh, not being able to um, to explore your future, to explore your own interest, to explore yourself in some way, not being able to uh, show yourself in the lights you want people to see you. You're putting an end to all of that. Some of you, there is definitely an ending of a relationship here that was very restrictive. There could have been a marriage that was very restrictive with a person who wanted the light on them only. I feel like you are ending that relationship and I feel like you're putting your boundaries up and you're putting yourself first. This magician energy, again, this is you, Gemini. This is your energy in Major Arcana. This is you being seen. This is you being in charge of your own future here. So I do feel that a lot of you are ending some sort of relationship. Like I said, for those of you who've been in a restrictive relationship where the other person always needed the attention on them, where the other person was um, trying to... Um, shine bright and yet kind of put you in this energy of you know secondary energy to be in a back burner kind of an energy of and uh, not allowing you to show yourself and to shine as bright as they do if that was your situation if that's the marriage you were in i feel like you're putting an end in to that and you you are putting the boundaries up you're separating yourself from the situation but also there is a group of gemini's here where you are getting out of the self-imposed restrictions that you're putting yourself you are finding an inner strength to shine bright to show yourself and yes there will be a lot of eyes in you that's what i see jamie's let's go ahead and um uh clarify this all the first message that's coming out here is in importance to look for details pay attention to details here search for details fine print that's the energy that is coming through there is also an energy of inner wisdom and intuition here look at that 
<laughs> oh yeah. Some of the Geminis have kind of been in this energy. A lot of Geminis I'm reading for today have been in energy of being bored in your romantic love life, not seeing the options around you. And uh, sometimes going back into this reminiscing more mode, uh, reminiscing about the past. That's what I feel is changing for you. Your intuition is telling you that there is a romantic love offer that is coming your way that is going to change, almost going to change your luck in life. If you, For those of you who felt kind of unlucky in love, because I do get this energy here, I feel like your intuition is telling you the signs are coming in for you that your luck in life, a love life is changing and you are coming into that satisfaction nine of cups that um satisfaction and wish fulfillment in love life the option that is coming into you, the new love offer is going to be something that you're going to be really really happy pay attention to the signs i feel like uh, you will see signs around you there could have been some sort of even reading that you've seen in the past like a tarot reading that you've seen recently and somebody could have mentioned some sort of sign um that you know that's the significant sign to, uh, where you where you meet a new person pay attention to that because i do feel that there are signs out, out there for you and you will see them there is a new romantic offer that is coming your way and it is going to feel like your love your your luck in love life is changing i feel like you've been single for a while you've been waiting for this for a while yes there was a lot of energy of reminiscing about the past looking at the uh, this three spilled cups but there is something much better coming in for you the person that is um, coming in for you is going to be very independent i feel like this person is uh, very much self-sufficient and they see you as such they see you as somebody who's independent self-sufficient comfortable with just being on their own but yet wanting to be in a romantic connection i feel like your energies will match really really nicely here listen to your intuition this is uh, the uh, i feel like your intuition is telling you that it is coming and if that's the case yes it is definitely coming there is new love coming your way this is what I have for you today, Jamie. These are the messages that came through for the first half of February. I do hope you found this reading helpful. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed this reading, please do press that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you for being here again. Bye for now.